<sighs> Guys, I bought a thing. That's a hard word to say. They need to call that something better. I, or maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. Anyways, I'm waiting for approval for being monetized, which is awesome. Now, by no means does this mean I get to like quit my job, that me and my just get to hang out here in the garage, which would be super dope. Not the case, but it is a giant step forward. So, with that being said, stay tuned, guys. There'll, there'll be some future links in my bio that will be for monetary reasons. Uh, if you want to support Epic's Chop Shop, check out the Buy Me a Coffee link, which I will leave in the description below. It's five bucks. Anything and everything that I get goes right back into the channel. The tripods I'm constantly breaking, abrasives. Um, and again, there's some Epic's Chop Shop merch eventually coming. And very likely, any money that comes in will go into getting that set up. But, uh, Without further ado, enough spam. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Boom. Major upgrades. So we finally acquired our uh, a Crown Vic front end. And I acquired said Crown Vic front end by simply selling my old DJM stuff. Uh, and on top of selling that and buying that, I am still positive $450. Uh, in the case you don't know, DJM Suspension sponsors Epi's Chop Shop. So if you make a purchase from DJM Suspension, hit them with code EPPIES and they will refund your shipping, which depending on the weight of the package you buy can be a really big deal. So go check them out. But anyway, all that's gone. We now have coilover, sway bar, rack and pinion steering, all of the goodies, which we're going to end up going bags anyways, but nice solid unit came from Florida. This was actually in a dude's, I think he said C10, and his rich ass ended up buying a roadster shop ch a chassis, so he got a major upgrade as well. But uh, what we need to do today, I don't know how familiar some of you guys are with this. I am very new at it myself, first time ever doing this, so do bear with me. But um, to make this go in here, I basically need to come through and knock out all these rivets, get these spring perches gone, get the brackets for the I-beams gone, and this cross member needs to come out as well. Um, at which point in time, you kind of just notch a section up here. There's a box kit that goes in here that I do not have yet. Um, I'm not exactly sure which brand or whatever I'm gonna go through to purchase that yet. Some are more expensive than others. They all look to be the same, except some of them have like a brand name laser cut into them and they're double the price. I won't pay double the price because it says a fancy name on it. I just won't. Uh, in fact, I might be, I might buy the cheapest one on the market just to have the stencil of it and take it to my buddy Jesse and see if he can replicate it and maybe cut so like some cool speed holes or something in it, but we will see. But anyway, speaking of like saving and spending money, I have made some of these purchases by selling side hustling garden items. Let's put it that way. Uh, those garden items bought my pie crust cheater slicks and I sold some more garden items today. And this is what they turned into. I sold one jar of garden items and purchased an air hammer, my fitting, 
my chisels that I need, a bracket, some brackets to hopefully hang Sandy's hood because it's currently leaning on my toolbox, but I'm kind of running out of wall space already. I need a bigger damn garage already, but new level, some brackets for my pegboard for some screwdrivers and such, and some safety googlies. So after selling said garden item, uh, I spent $48, so I'm still $2 ahead on those. And after selling the DJM stuff, like I said, I actually talked this guy down a hundred bucks cheaper than I see these things listed for anymore. So after selling said items, I have now bought my tires, tools to make this job happen, and the front end, and I'm still positive 450 bucks. I'm rich, bitch! So, I guess besides rambling, this is me trying to influence you to side hustle, whatever that side hustle is. Get it. Anything you can make out of your own home, whether you're cutting vinyl, making stickers, t-shirts, selling truck parts, like stop, stop giving those away for free to the scrap guy. Deal with the Facebook idiots and make you a couple dollars. Whatever you gotta do to invest in the thing that you're passionate about, do that. But uh, let's get to work. I guess what I'm gonna wanna do first is get these headers out of the way they're not they're gonna be in the way this side of the cross member is not nearly as long as this side if you can see this side curves back to all the way back here so these are then gonna be in the way I also don't know that I'm going to reuse them in my mind I want some fender well exit headers which nobody makes so that's awesome but I don't know if these are gonna go back in Sandy. And I think to save myself some time and sanity for the moment, I'm probably just gonna cut it back there somewhere, pull these out of the way as a whole, set them aside, at which point in time, we will have all the room for activities. Well, I have decided that I'm just gonna cut this exhaust out back here. I can just buy some three inch clamps. Three eighths, three eighths clamps, about three inch clamps. Clamp these back together. If indeed I re end up reusing this exhaust, which I'm probably not, probably not. I don't want to lose my bed exit exhaust, but I super want fender well highlighters. Hi. Are you going to come down here and help? You're not going to want to be here in just a second. But anyways, I'm probably not going to reuse those. They're going to be a lot easier to separate, not with a bunch of shit in the way. So I'll just cut these here and do that on the bench. I think this is a wood blade. Midas, I think this is a wood blade. It's also a bent blade. I think it's both wood and bent. All right. Got the proper blade this time. Now with all that bullshit out of the way, we can finally start cutting all this bullshit out of the way. But uh, I could have, would have, should have done a better job with this, but like I said, 
potentially not reusing those headers. I really want some fender well headers, which is gonna complicate making that happen again, because I really like the sound of a single exhaust, but for cool factor and asshole reasons, I still want, I want fender exits too. But um, regardless of how I work this, there's definitely a better way to do this. I just made it happen with what I had laying around. And the truck is very likely going to get back halved because how tall the tires are, I gotta redo my frame notch. And I really hate how stupid giant super tall frame notches look. So I think I would rather jump up probably here-ish and just stay up. So we're probably gonna like do like a three quarter back half or whatever you wanna call it in here. Cause I think the, the four link I wanna use, I think, I think, don't quote me, reuses the factory uh, hanger mounts. Again, I could be wrong, but um, we'll see. We'll see when the time comes, but very likely this thing is gonna get just back halves and a legitimate raised bed floor. So the frame is gonna be different. Suspension is gonna be different. That exhaust back there was probably not gonna work. And like I said, there was definitely, there was definitely a better way to do this. And I ride Midas. He's like, yeah, yeah, you suck. Whatever. At this point, I think fuel line's gonna need to get out of my way. We're gonna need to unbolt and try to lay out of the way just the brake distribution block here. And I have a, we'll probably end up redoing these brake lines, not because I want to. If I don't have to, I'm not gonna. But the Z bar needs to get out of the way. Brake distribution block. Um, grounds. At which point in time we can start cutting and hammering and, and using my new El Cheapo air hammer. Ah, skim it a rinky dinky think. We are Betty to bridge. Why are words so hard? How come I can skim it a rinky dink, but I can't say anything else? Like I can skim it a rinky dinky think all goddamn day, but I can't say words like bolts or progress or whatever. Anyway. I do believe where we stand is I need to get this rivet out of the way. The other side was bolted in upper and lower. I don't know why this side was bolted and then riveted, but I think I'm going to go ahead and completely disconnect all of the brake lines. I know most guys, and I could be wrong about this are swapping to power brakes and going like four wheel disc. I don't necessarily have the intention on going disc in the rear. i probably, I mean, it had, disc in the front drum in the rear before it was just fine i'm okay with it i'm also okay with manual brakes so that's a new master cylinder i don't know if i can get away with using it or not but if i can i'm going to because i ain't no bitch and my foot operates my brakes just fine i don't need a brake booster i'm not autocrossing or taking this thing at particularly the high speeds we're just doing burnouts and being assholes so i don't think i really need the, the the assistance of a booster. So if I can, I'm gonna get away with, I'm gonna to try to get away with just reusing this, in which case I'm hoping to get away with reusing my brake lines and stuff. So I'm going to carefully take the whole assembly out as one set it aside. After that, there's nothing in my way and we can start cutting and hammering. Odie dody, I think we are about as prepped as we can be, did what I said I was gonna do. Got the whole brake line assembly all out in one piece, as, as one piece as I could. Didn't kink anything, was real careful, kept on my bolts and such. But at this point in time, we're about ready for a time lapse. So I'm gonna cut this bracket out of the way and keep it. If anything, maybe we can scoot it back or put it back where it goes once this is in there. But uh, at this point in time, about ready to start cutting out some rivets. So before we time lapse, I guess let's find said rivets. We got this guy, this guy, this guy. Looks like there's two right there. So after these two and that two, looks like this guy should come out. 
these two, that one, should get that out. Assuming it's going to be the same on the other side. This guy, these two will get this, and then two on the bottom will get this whole assembly out. And then, guy there, guy there. Looks like we might have some hidden rivets in there, right there. Oh, you're bolted? You're fucking gay. But uh, yeah, you're getting the gist of it after I get all those rivets out. So we can get the spring perches, I beam mounts out of the way. Hopefully that'll allow us a little more room to get this cross member out of the way. And then we got some cutting to do. Uh, ooh, you know what I just remembered too? Is I should probably, I could probably get away with doing the coil purchase, spring purchase, whatever. But before I cut this front end out, I need to level this truck and weld the bar across to keep everything square. But I can get a little bit of stuff out of my way so I'm not crawling and fighting over that, that bar that I weld in. But um, let's make some noise and do a time lapse. Boom! So there's our spring purchase. They didn't fight me too bad. Um, hardest part was really, I didn't even think about it, is these rivets go both through the outer and inner bracket. So there's that. A little bit of corrosion. Nothing I'm particularly worried about. This is all going to get boxed up anyways. Uh, so finished cutting these rivets out. 
And uh, what we got to do next is level this bad boy out, find a piece of metal, weld it level, and uh, cut the center brace out, which I'm sure is going to be the real fun part. So we're a little off, not too bad. Ooh, that's real close. Seven. Seven. Double check her one more again. She's got us a seven. And a seven. Christmas wish list for Epi's Chop Shop, a welding helmet that doesn't suck. Just in case when you guys happen to be Santa. Okay, so, mess is slowly growing as always. We're level, levels we're gonna get. We're like, I measured, we're like, a sixteenth off, like not enough that I'm going to fucking stress about it. But uh, at this point in time, got some welds to cut, um, some rivets to knock, rest the way out. But I do believe that's about it. It looks like this guy runs underneath. As far as the bottom, it just flanges out right here. So. I don't think those being in there are going to be relevant at the moment. We'll worry about it when the rest of this is out of the way and we'll clean up the whole frame all at one time. But I do believe I just need to knock out this rivet, that rivet, that actually just had a bolt in it, which thank you Ford for doing that, uh, and finish knocking out this rivet and uh, cut these welds out. So. Time for a beer? I think it's time for a beer. It's only like two o'clock, but whatever. If you're on the west coast, it's like five, right? Right? Oh. Don't forget to save the turtles. Recycle, save the turtles. Peanut butter. Peanut butter milkshake stout, boy. Damn it, that's good. Oh!
My oh, Atlanta man. guy. So we are we are so close to getting this out. And I'm beating and chiseling and cut and I'm like, why won't you move? Everything is cut. Everything is separating. But then I got to look in in here where that bolt was where I thanked Ford for doing me a favor earlier. See how it's welded? And right there. <sighs> Fuckers. So I guess I'm gonna cut this out, get it out of the way in one separate piece, which will probably make this come out easier anyways, but uh, when we come back, hopefully I'll be beating this out. Woo! Jesus Christ, guys. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Jesus Christ. So, uh, I'm out of Sawzall blades. I am out of cutting wheels. And guess what else I'm out of? If you guess patience, winner! But, I like to turn on here. My, my brand new Harbor Freight light that lasted like, I don't know, basically as soon as I turned on the uh, air hammer, it like vibrated itself into being broken, so that's kind of cool. But, but, I think, I don't know how I want to go about it yet. I think this thing's ready to come out of here. <laughs> oh shit. I was hoping to kick this thing sideways, which is obviously going to make it a little wider, but uh, that wasn't the plan. Worked. Whew. Oh, my weld broke. Awesome. Oh, broke that weld right there. Shouldn't necessarily be a big deal. I mean, we we leveled it out in the first place, but I mean, still, before this goes in permanently, pull a bunch of measurements, make sure everything's good again. I was really beating the fuck out of this thing. If you can't tell, couldn't tell. But uh, that's where we be, guys. So I have one hell of a mess to clean up, which I think I'm kind of just going to push out of the side for the moment. And if these rivets aren't going to be in my way, I'm willing to bet that they are going to be in the way. I would like to mock this thing up real quick. So when we come back, hopefully pushing that thing up there is where we're going to be.
There we go. Scoochie. 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 Woo! Not that much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't fall. So it didn't get no metal in it. Hmm. Okay. Fucking blow. Look out. That's a day's work, right? So, and don't totally quote me, and obviously I have rivets and stuff to get out, but I do believe you knock this rivet out and you drill a hole in between these two holes, and that's where that nipple goes. I do believe. Again, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. As far as the sway bar, I actually haven't researched sway bar, but it looks like it might actually come real damn close to just going onto the frame right there. That'd be dope. Um, I am going to go with the Outcast uh, upper control arm brackets and lower control arm brackets as well as their 302 motor mounts which is just, just going to leave us with getting a boxing plate and or having one made I need to get this fucking rest of the way out of here because like I said I think I'm going to box maybe not maybe feel like an idiot to box it like not all the way forward maybe we'll make a template and have Jesse cut us a boxing plate from here to here and then here to the cross member there at least and then this whole front end will be boxed in and that'll leave us a nice area to run our wires because like I said I want to like wire tuck this thing I don't want to see any of this shit ever again I want the engine to look like it's just floating here so this is where we stand guys we're gonna end up going bags so this is this is pretty exciting. I'm pretty stoked about this. I, uh, of course, you know, when it comes to cutting your truck apart, you get nervous, as you should. It looks like, it looks like this is probably going to need cut off. Looks like it's going to prevent the cross member from going all the way up here. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it's going to. Oh, yeah, it's for sure going to. So we'll just flush that up. It'll all get boxed in. But, um, that's where we stand, guys. So we're well on our way into having a Crown Vic front end. We got her original 302 with the Flowtech heads. We are uh, we're making progress. I was I was really hoping to have this truck back on the road come springtime. I feel like that's a bit of a ballsy statement, but uh, hopefully, hopefully. So I'm gonna clean up the garage. That's a lie. I'm gonna clean up myself and probably take the wife out to dinner. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys a bajillion times. We are officially waiting for our approval for monetization. If you would, buy your boy a coffee. The link to buy your boy a coffee is going to be in the description below. And then maybe I won't get blinded when I weld because this is not, not a good welding helmet. But uh, yeah, any dollar that goes into buying me a coffee goes back into the channel, goes back into the truck goes towards uh, getting some merch ready to go. Let's do this, guys. Let's go! Deuces.